Hi, this is Natalie from 9.arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here uh, to play bingo again with you and you might ask what's in front of me. Uh, these are the tags that I made um, while playing bingo together with you and I have them on a ring and that's the whole uh, challenge this month. We are making tags and you can post them in the Facebook group using the hashtag LDA Wonder Bingo and if you use the kit the autumn wonders kit you will receive two entries for each post uh, you put in the group and if you use only the freebies you will receive one entry uh, for each post uh, i think i explained that many many times now but still for those who just join in just purchase the kit today maybe uh, you can still join in with making the tags not playing bingo of course but making the tags for sure um this is the um, the prize that was um, at stake for having one um, row on one bingo card and this is already won by Tabitha and I uh, messaged her or no she messaged me with the address but I'm going to ship it when I know the other prizes too so this is going to be set away put away safely for sending out and the next prize we were playing for that was two rows on one bingo card and i had spent i think two hours checking everything and the winner of all these lovely envelopes and pockets is christina damers she was the first one that was on um was in the third drawing with I think it was the fourth or fifth number. I have it written down on my computer, but I, I, I really uh, spent a lot of time figuring out who won. But I put in the last number you have bingo with, and she was the only one that had bingo at the very beginning of the drawing. So she is absolutely the winner. And one step below, I think, was Stacy Merritt. <laughs> so sorry, Stacy, <laughs> you missed bingo. But these are going to be shipped away to Christina and. Um, I think I have your address, Christina, because you purchase in my Etsy shop and then I see uh, a shipment address also. Um, but it can never hurt to send it to me again in a private message via Messenger. Um, I'm just warning you, the noise you are hearing, that's Mr. Supervisor. And he's not doing a very good job supervising today. He is doing a good job being totally annoying and going in everything he shouldn't be going in and at this moment he is trying to get into <laughs> i'm not sure if you hear the noise he's trying to get into one of my bags that is folded away um, like a shopping bag and he wants to get in don't ask me why he wants to um yeah i have to make a tag today and i'm saying i have to make because it feels like i have to make one and I have zero inspiration, to be honest. Um, but let's see what I come up with. Um, I'm not feeling <laughs> the best at the moment. Um, has to do with mats that I'm taking again. And yeah, I'm, I don't want to bother you with it. But it's... it's I'm, I'm, I'm really tired of all the things that comes with using medicines but yeah apparently that's how it goes and uh, this is also a page from a freebie kit maybe you we should do something with that i don't know i haven't used the the kit very much well not at all actually and now that i think of it i do like these yeah maybe i'm going to work with these today or not yeah i am and maybe this can be a backing paper yeah so I have found something to work with. That's that's already cool. That's that's something. Um, not sure what I'm going to use. Um, am I going to use a bingo card? No, not. 
I'm not going to use that. But I'm going to make a tag from bingo cards. I promise. But not today. Um, I have to create my own tag, I think. Okay, I will do that. Okay, Mr. Supervisor is out of the room. Uh, I found this packaging. It's from soup. Well, to make soup. The, the, the herbs and everything. Um... And I'm going to create a tag out of this one. Maybe I can turn this into a pocket. Well, let's see. I think this one. So I am. Um, I tried to catch up on A to Z of Christmas challenge today, uh, but I was watching when I was laying in bed and I had my phone on the nightstand next to me and I was extending my morning in bed, like sleeping in but to be awake, but I fell asleep. So. I have created a lot of watch hours for somebody. <laughs> a few of you, but I didn't see it. So I have to go back and really watch. Yeah. I don't know what happens. I'm, I'm, I, am, I only know that I'm very, very extremely tired. And it's, it, it almost feels like it's not getting better. No. Um, yeah, but maybe it's the dark weather. I always have troubles um, adjusting when we switch the, the clock. I'm tired. That happens sometimes. Going to pack it with uh, the, green, the green paper. Oh. What I want to do is I not really like the white border on top of this tag. Just um, what do you call it? Ripping it, tearing it, tearing it's tearing with my ruler and. Do some inking, some gluing. I'm just going to glue this over on top. Okay, now that I see this, I don't like the edge on the right side, also. So I'm going to cut that off. Exact same thing at the bottom. And I created an extra layer here with some texture. I think it's fun. But you don't have to do that, of course. Well, you don't have any... <laughs> you don't have to do anything I'm doing right now. Okay, so my husband called. I was disturbed. And in the meantime, I also um, refilled my art glitter glue because it was empty. 
And I thought I had a, an extra small bottle, but I don't. I thought I bought it, but apparently not. Um, but I didn't do anything special um, except refilling my bottle of glue. And I was saying you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, but I hope to be inspirational to you. Uh, when I try things on camera because that's the whole idea uh, to be inspired and to inspire others and Also have fun creating of course um, So yeah, I'm putting on my my vest because it's extremely cold in here uh, I have these butterflies that I want to use but I have to fuzzy cut them it's kind of boring seeing me do that. Um, I'm going for the blue. Yeah, I'm going to fuzzy cut on camera. I'm sorry, I'm just going to. You have to watch me do it. It's boring, I know. Um, yeah, and I supposed to have an outing tonight. <clears throat> I had agreed to go and have dinner with uh, colleagues from my previous job, where I worked not very long, for a month, something like that. Uh, the job was not nice. Well, the job was nice, but um, well, the environment I didn't feel at home at. But the girls, the, the colleagues, they were extremely nice. So I think that's the only reason why I stayed for four months instead of one. Uh, so we still see each other and it's over a year now. Uh, but yeah, because I am taking meds, I'm, I'm really not feeling well. So... Um, and I'm very tired also. But but mostly not feeling well, feeling nausea and I have all those things you don't want to have. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. So that's why I'm not going tonight. Well, tonight is almost done here. But I was supposed to go out and have dinner tonight. But it didn't happen. I'm just trying what I want to do. I have no clue at all. I like everything that's on this, but if you want to embellish it a little bit, you have to do something. I'm going to glue this side down on here. I have to go to size, to do the same this size. Also going to glue only the right side or the edge down. So and I also have stuff over here that I just grabbed and I found the glue. And I thought maybe I can do something with this. On the tag or not we'll see <clears throat> some cheese glue and I'm Apparently I'm turning this into a belly band. I haven't planned it, but when I put on that strip, I thought, oh, maybe I can use it as a belly band. So that's what it's going to be now, a belly band. And I'm gluing on the butterfly with some cheesecloth going just to size so and 
and um, cutting this like so. So yeah, that's what we got. Oh, I am picking this color. Well, my butterfly is blue. Maybe I should use blue. I have some blue over here. So I'm co I'm covering the the edge <laughs> that I made with the teared border. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't have a plan. Well, I usually never have a plan, but. I didn't have a plan and I didn't have any inspiration or mojo to even craft, although I do want to craft. <clears throat> but when you are feeling so tired, even the fun things are hard to do, apparently. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um going to add I wanted to add this on here, but I should have done that before I glued it down. Not going to do that because otherwise I can't put something in the the belly band thing if I put something in um, I have to make a small tag something that I can slide in and I'm thinking maybe I can use a piece from the box that we used to make this tag and turn that into a small tag maybe this piece first I have to glue this together Okay, and do I have some other paper that I can use to back this? This piece. scissors. These are my fabric scissors. So if I finish this this small tag thingy, um, I'm going to be we are going to draw some numbers, and it will be a full bingo card. And if you have a full bingo card, would you please be so kind and help me just a little by saying. When you post your picture and say you have bingo, the number that gave you bingo, because it's it's taken me hours to, to go through all the cards, because some of you do write the numbers, some of you don't. 
and which I understand because usually you don't do that. Um, but yeah, it's it's another way of playing bingo, of course, because we are um, we are not all in the same area. We are watching this in different on different times. Um, so I want everybody to have a chance chance to win bingo. I can't just say the first one having bingo has bingo because that depends on which area you live. Probably if you live in America and I upload this video tonight, you will be able to watch it while people in Europe <laughs> are sleeping. So that's why it's important to know the number because with the number I can see if you had bingo very at the beginning when I started drawing the numbers or at the end. And the, the more you have... Um, the sooner you have bingo, uh, the first one that has bingo, uh, well, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it the right way, but if you have bingo uh, at the beginning when I start to draw the numbers, you are the winner. And that, not after I picked seven numbers extra. I hope it makes sense, but I will try to explain later when we're, when we're actually doing uh, the drawing. Um, I have my labels somewhere. I don't know where. I have them here, yeah. And I want to put something on. And I'm really quite happy with these labels. These can be used on many, many, many things. I really like them. It took me hours to make them. But I do... I actually love them. I thought I had a blue one. Somewhere. Okay. If I stick this in here. Am I going to? I can't find the blue one anymore. Where are you? Okay, just going through all the labels now. I'm sorry, I thought I had a blue one with a blue something on it. I only see red and brown and birds and ah oh, here it is yeah okay, let me just think a little also make it a double but then I'm Covering off the blue that I was searching for, so that's kind of silly to do. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, so I'm inking three. First of all, should I put something in here? I think yes. No, it's not working. If I put it in like that. No, I'm going to put it in like this. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it here. I thought it would be nice if I poked it into the O, but the O is underneath the, the belly band thingy, so you're not you're not able to see it. Trim to tie a bow. Do I have blue? 
stay up blue. Got to use blue. I'm not going to tie bow. I meant to say to make a tag topper. That's what I wanted to say. I'm not sure if you hear, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm making a squeaking sound. <laughs> I'm very. I have trouble breathing. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but it's making a weird sound. Green. I don't know where to put it. Maybe on here. Yeah, it's best. Okay. Here we go. So, I have this, it's taking me ages to make a tag, I'm sorry, I'm, um, like I said, I'm not doing the best at the moment. Um, just tying it into a knot, I think, yeah. The fabric that I'm using was actually white and it had blue blue dots on it and I used what did I use I used something it was from Tim Holtz I think yeah this I used this broken china I just love this but I never use it I'm not sure what it does oh Okay, I tried, I was inking on this, I didn't know that, but okay. Oh. Maybe, just maybe, it would be fun to make splashes, but I'm not spraying it on because when I do that I'm ruining the tag although I think I'm ruining it already <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to try and spray it on I'm afraid to do it oh yeah let me just think about something
because I also have this. Chip glass. I didn't use it yet, I think. And we are going to use it now. I have to say I'm not very pleased with the result on the back. I, I kind of ruined my tag, but yeah. I'm going to leave it anyway. Hoping that adding this to the tag is saving it just a little. I'm just trying to put it on like I would put on ink and blend it out in the corners, something like that. Of course, this is going wrong. But it is what it is. I messed up, I know. And you're probably thinking, okay, if you think you messed up, why don't you stop? Well, I'm just thinking, why stop now? I already messed up. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> it will turn out pretty if I don't stop. I know you have to use this with water and, and, and blend it, and I know. I thought I could just do this, the first spray on the tag. That's what I wanted to accomplish, but yeah, I didn't think it through. Okay, let me just clean my hands. But although I messed up, I do like it. It's very organic. <laughs> it is what it is. So, um, let me just put it in. Take this out of the way. This is what I have today. And I do like it. Yeah. I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. I'm going to attach this. Uh, okay, you have to go back into your corner. Go over here. Yeah. Okay. Um... Not sure if I can, yeah, I can put it on like so. Oh, another tag with a tag. Yeah, but I do like it. So we have this one with the booklet tag thingy, this one with the butterflies and a weird big hole <laughs> because I used the wrong punch and. I think this was the first one I made, yeah. And we have this one with the hardware on it. And it's dropping to this side. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to clean my desk and then we are going to draw some numbers for the for the bingo. Um well let me see what you did. With your tag or tags, uh, make as much as you want. <laughs> it's my job to search all the posts at the end. So yeah, um, 
switch over to the bingo setup one moment please okay i'm ready for the fourth drawing the fourth video making well playing bingo not making playing bingo with you and the 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 price we are playing for is the full a full card so you have every box checked off on one card that's bingo and we are playing for the dutch version of the edith holden book um i'm not sure if it will be this particular uh because this one is not very pretty i have better versions but this was the one that was on top i have i think i have over 20 of these books at the moment so um but it will be a dutch version of the edith holden book well let me just because i do want to show you the new kit the new kits are two Christmas kits, and I thought maybe I can squeeze it in this video too, or maybe just one. Yeah, I don't know. We will see. We are going to draw ten numbers. Otherwise, I have to keep count of how many, keep travel, keep track of how many numbers I I already drew, draw. What it, I don't know how to say it. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm 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 rambling. I want to speak Dutch and English at the same time. The number is 063. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> Keep focused, Natalie. This is fun. N42. So we have N42. The next one is B10. We have B10. G52. G52. And O68. So we have O68. Okay. N42. That's over here. B10. That's over here. G52 is over here and O68 is over here. So N42, N42, B10, G52, O68. Okay, the next five numbers. B6, we have B6. And we have I twenty seven I twenty seven the next one is B twelve B twelve the ninth number I'm drawing is I twenty six I twenty six and number ten of this range of numbers is G forty nine okay so we have b6 i27 i28 i29 b12 i26 and g49 okay b6 I-27, B-12, I-26, G-49, um, it's over here. Okay, um, and I think it would be fun because how many numbers do I have left? I have to count, I'm so sorry, I can't keep track. <laughs> Twenty numbers. So let's let's do one more video after this one, and then we do the twenty numbers. Okay, I think that's fair. Um, considering I'm tired, and I do have to edit this video. I'm not sure I will upload it this Friday. I will try to, um, but quickly take this out of the way. Oh, I wanted to say something. I wanted to say something. Uh, Christina won the challenge, not the challenge, because Christina won the second round, two rows on one card. And 
um, Lisa, Lisa Wagner, she had, well, she is in a bad shape at the moment, not feeling great. Compared to Lisa, I guess I'm feeling pretty damn good. And she had a hard time catching up with the bingo numbers. And apparently she missed um, 071. <laughs> and well, I figured she is not, she had trouble catching up and miss miss a number every now and then. But what I did, I checked I checked your whole card, all the three of them, from the, the start. And even I checked if you might have won the first round, so the third prize. But um, still, with your number 71, um, Tabata won. So then I checked if you would be second prize winner and... Um, you did have two rows on a, on a card, I think. No, you didn't have two rows. That was the thing. I'm just, I'm having the card in front of me, so I'm not lying. Um, one row. No, you, you, um, you had two cards with one row. <clears throat> and one was, um, 064 that gave you bingo. And 064 was in the third drawing, so that was after the first prize. And the third drawing was already for two lines. So, And B15 also gave you one row, but that didn't help you with winning the two-row round with the second prize. Let's say the second prize. So, But I'm, I'm keeping track of your card. I'm doing that right now um, because I have it in front of me. Um, we have B6, you have B6, so I'm, 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 I'm just playing for Lisa, I'm, I'm, I'm Lisa at the moment, <laughs> that's one, B10, you have B10 on another card, uh, you have B12 also on another card, you have one row over here now, yeah, but we are going to play for the full card, so then we are going to check the eyes, I26, I have it here, not on this card, not on this card. I-27, checking all three cards. I have it on here. N-42, N-42. You have N-42. I, I sound like somebody at a, at an auction. N-42, anyone else more than N-42? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, G-49, G-49, G-52. You have G-52 on one card. Not on the other card, not on this card. Um, no, that was N42, I already checked. I have to, yeah, I have to go to O63. O63. You have O63 on one card and O68 on another card. Okay. I'm just checking the numbers you have not crossed off yet. Oh, you have 18, that's also crossed off, but you have that already. 24 is still open, number 5 is still open, 37, 44 is still open, 48 is also still open, yeah. 46 is also not there yet, 20 is open, 40 is open, 56 is open, 49 is open, no, 49 is crossed off, I missed one too. 65, 61 is open, 72 is open, other one, 28, I have the card next to me, 28 is open, 55 is open, 47 is open, 51 is open, and 74 is also still open. So, um, I play bingo for you, Lisa, and this is what you got, you need a few numbers. <laughs> To get a full bingo card but maybe next time but i keep it here so i'm keeping playing for you so if one of the numbers went off to town again i have them all here so don't worry oh and what i forgot to do i forgot to congratulate christina with winning i'm so sorry i was just talking about the prize and i completely forgot to say congratulations christina with winning okay i have this kit um, and I have Joan from the Brown Dragonfly um, to thank for the name because she gave me the name. 
and I also have this kit. Um, this one has red toned and um, gold in it, also other colors. This is uh, a collage kit. We're going to start off with this one, Winter Roses. Um, 24 pages and I have a challenge prepared for this one. Um, but we will be playing that along somewhere in December. So we are still doing this, bingo. But 24 pages, Winter Roses. And it's a Christmas kit, but it's also not a Christmas kit. It is a Christmas kit, but it's not... I uh, Hopefully it's... I hope I created it the way that it's not Christmas in your face Christmas. That was the goal. And I did uh, cut out a few things because I needed to test. But let's start with the papers. And um, oh, also nice to tell you, there are real vintage things in here. Like this, this is from a vintage. A letter that I have, a vintage letter, and it is actually somebody drew this, and it was French, and he sent this to his parents. And there's another drawing of this in this kit, and I have scanned a lot of things that I have. Uh, so this is one of the pages. Let me just because, like I said, I did test something. Oh, let me just put it down. Otherwise, I forgot to show you. I will forget to show you. Okay, this is the most unprepared video ever. Um, but yeah, I have a backing paper, very blue, and I really like it. Then I have this, like this one, this. This is actually a writing to somebody, a letter, and. This is the same person that had made this. One of these days I'm going to show you the actual letter, maybe. It has roses back background paper. This is also a real letter that I scanned. It has the Christmas bells and some Christmas things, but it's all over here also. It's not Christmas in your face, I think. Then I have this packing paper. And I have this, and this is all Dutch. This is Pecada, that's a very well-known cookie factory in the Netherlands. Um, but it's Amsterdam, Uitgeest. Um, these are real vintage items that I scanned and collaged together with some romantic flowers. That's why it's called Winter Roses. And it's um, switching between, between blue and pink. Um, this is a Christmas tree with also a real vintage writing that I scanned. And the Christmas tree is originally... I have it somewhere. Well, I'm going to show you. Um, I added all these rows. It, it took me hours, but they are on. And I really like it. And I have a little deer over here. And I thought when I was making this, I have freebies in the Facebook group from last year from making a Christmas file folder. And they would go really well with this kit. Just so you know. I have this paper. And also, there are real vintage items added to this, scanned and added. This is real. Then I have a little, I'm not sure you call them angels, not elves, angels over here. And I have this paper, a backing paper with. I'm not sure how you say it in English. We call it Caster. I think it's called Ponchetta or something like that. I'm not sure. But this is um, Snowflakes. And also Vintage Script. Yeah. I want to make a Christmas book. Vintage. This is. I scanned this. I had this in a book. Uh, 
this is the Christmas tree that was on the other page and I put all the roses in it but I really like this piece you can turn this into a great tag then I have some journaling cards and some cute little book plates and I just love the journaling cards I really love it especially this one or this one and here I have um, the want to make a Christmas book ephemera and added some Christmas thing on it and this is also the real vintage um, writing and drawing then I have the Christmas tree again and I have some Christmas ornaments in here um, Merry Christmas sort of stamp um, this and special delivery then I also have a page where I shrunk down this and the journaling cards so you have it in a smaller size then I have these yeah, I don't know how they are called pocket envelopes I really like these these are so much fun you can clip them in in your journal tags pockets pockets and another card Christmas cards slanted pockets also have this one then I have a sheet with Christmas words and I really like these here the legs are outside but I do like it so these I have then I have more tags um, you can use the other one to back these um, yeah from the papers and then I shrunk down these tags and also shrunk down these words and then I also have cut out the pockets to test if there was right these are the pockets and I'm not sure I really have to check I'm sorry if these are in the freebies that I made for the challenge that we are going to play or these are in the kit I'm not sure I don't think they are in the kit no these are separated but I made these to join uh, in with the kit um, I have made this I think more than a month ago I already had this finished but then I knew I was going to be in a collaboration and I thought okay how am I be able to craft with this and also be in a collab and everybody is joining in with the collab and they have a gigantic kit to work with um, how am I going to combine these things together uh, so I thought well half of the month I'm going to release the Christmas kit and then I also was working at the same time at uh, a red and yellow goldish kit the one that I showed you uh, when I started showing you these papers and that was I had a traditional red I had a traditional Christmas kit in my shop, but I didn't like it anymore. I don't know why. I wasn't happy with how it was. So I made a new one. But I have, I think, two pages from the original kit in here. This is called Golden Christmas. And it's collage. And it's busy. Extremely busy. And I love it. It's something different. It's not green and red it's green and yellow this is an original page from one of the from, from the previous kit that I included because I do like it as a backing paper this is also one of the original pages I think it's supposed to be this way but it doesn't matter really and then I have this and I have this ready for also a few weeks now I have this one as a backing paper I have this one printed uh, twice also a backing paper another collage sheet and another collage sheet and another collage sheet I really like it I like these um, windows too. Then we have this collage sheet with a little 
color on it. This one with the deer and the goats and the little houses. So this is extremely Christmas to me. Packing paper, I'm not sure if you can see because I do think it's more red in real life. Uh, but my ink was running out when it printed this paper. And I also included just this paper as a backing paper, as a writing paper, or something you can use, but it has a pattern on it. Not sure if you can see. It's very hard to pick up on camera. Then I have this. This is all the plain page compared to the other ones. Then I have postcards. I have a pocket with some hangy thingy. Some little bits and pieces to embellish your journals. Large tags, and this is my favorite one with the deer on it. Then I have the smaller tags. Then I also included a booklet. First, let me show you the slanted pockets. And I made these so you can make it into a belly band or hang it on a large tag or on your page and it has all Christmas well, sayings words on it also have these then I have a page where I shrunk down the text and also the words then I have these this can be used as backing for the other tags and this is also a part of the booklet. Oh, I have here the page, also the backing paper and on, on the thicker paper to see if there's any quality difference. And this one is just a tiny bit more red, but it's not, well, you can't see it very well. Um, but I think this one was the last um, batch in my ink cartridge. Uh, this is a booklet. Uh, you're supposed to um, use one of these on the outside and one of these on the inside. So this is, can be your outside cover and you have to cut this and glue it on the inside and it's inside, inside cover. And this is just a journaling card, journaling card and a little uh, pocket. I added these two because I really like making these. So these are the papers that I created and I also mentioned, mentioned in a previous video I was updating um, an Alice in Wonderland kit. I'm not sure if I will be able to finish it this month because well, I, I, I don't have the time and I, um, I, I have been working on it off and on but I'm still not happy with the results. So. I think it will take a little bit longer before I have it finished. Um, but yeah, these are the two kits. And the design team members um, are going to be working with one of these. So they can pick a blue one or the red one. And the um, group design team members also can pick the blue one or the red one. And also the ambassador the facebook ambassador ambassador can pick a blue one or uh, the pink uh, the pink one blue pink or the red one sorry so yeah this is my video my all over the place video today i'm really sorry i hope you could catch up um yeah it is what it is i don't have my best day today so having not I'm not having the best day today and I'm ending this video now and thank you everybody for joining in with um, playing bingo also for joining in with the collab um, and yeah um, it's really fun to see all the comments and also joining in with making the tags and it's also fun to see you create all your tags because you see so many different things it's 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 uh, so um, it amazes me to see everybody is able to create absolutely something different and still use the same papers. I mean, you would think everyone would look the same, but it's not. So yeah, um, not sure how many do we have. I have five now. So yeah, maybe next time two 
maybe six or seven we will create but I do like these yeah. and I'm also very happy with this one even though I messed up so leave a comment um, in case you have bingo tell me of bingo if you have bingo post it in the group with the number that gave you bingo and please please find a way to also incorporate your name in your picture um, because when I'm printing it out I can't see the name I have to go back to the Facebook group and have to search which one was your card so that's why it's taking me so long to check all the cards so if you please Post a picture, add your name to the picture. So write something, write your name, lay it next to the card. Also with the number that gave you bingo, make a picture and then post it in the group. That's so much easier for me because then it's on the print. Then I can check really fast, I hope. Okay, um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Greetings from the Netherlands. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.